Hello, and welcome back to Doomed. Arkham Horror, the card, your solo playthroughs through Arkham Horror, the card game with a focus on roleplay and storytelling. I've said that intro, those specific words, uh, not a hundred times, maybe a couple dozen times. Um, <laughs> very, very strange that I messed it up. 742, it's been 84 years. Hello, Pukujutsu. Thank you for the uh, host raid. What happened? What? I don't even know. Host it! <laughs> I don't even know. Puku, what, 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 do you, what do you think? I've been streaming for a while or what? Hey, anyway. Uh, thank you all. <laughs> thank you all very much for joining me. Today, we're going to be continuing. Uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Pookie got to take a day off now and then. Okay. If you don't, I'm going to be very mad. I'm going to come over there. <laughs> um, yes, thank you all very much for joining me today. We're going to be continuing... Uh, the inimitable horror romance of uh, Rita Young and Peter Sylvester trying their best to survive what is uh, presumably a brewing conflict between a witch's coven and a secret society. Um, it feels really bad to be caught in the middle, to be honest. Um, prime Arkham Horror stuff. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how I'm going to survive. But we have to try. That's the classic for me. That's how this game works. So, uh, of course, if you're watching on YouTube as well, check down below. I've linked a timestamp to where the action gets started, if that's the thing that you want to do. Um, what more do I have to say? Hi, folks. It's so good to see everybody. Uh, yeah, I think, I, yeah, let's just jump into it. We'll try to, no, you know what? Let's do a little quick little story recap, and then we'll jump in here. Uh, and we'll see what today's terrible storytelling experience brings. Ahoy, Rock Pants! You're just in time for the recap. I mean, it's not really a recap because I'm doing it from memory, but that's the idea. Rita Young, Miskatonic University's star uh, track team member, along with her lover? Uh, <laughs> along with the star quarterback, Pete Sylvester, are investigating mysterious happenings in and around Arkham. Specifically, uh, they've discovered, they've uncovered both uh, a witch's coven and a secret society. Uh, they are, these, both of these groups are linked to the mysterious happenings at the Silver Twilight Estate several weeks ago. Disappearances, mists, uh, horrible creatures, you know, the huge. Um, last time on Doomed, Rita and Pete investigated an old uh, home in Arkham, uh, Kaziah Mason's home, Kaziah Mason being one of the Salem witches, I believe. Um, it was an absolutely wacko experience. There were uh, rats running around, the, the fam... <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> there were rats running around, there was the witch and her familiar. Um, we were unfortunately defeated and tossed out of the house like a sack of potatoes. Uh, pulled the wrong token at the wrong time. It wasn't looking good, but it was very disappointing, to be honest. I did have a good time, though. It was a good sesh. Uh, and so we're going to have to find out what Rita and Pete decide is their next step in uncovering the intentions of both of these groups today. Ah, Crosshair, hello. Welcome. I just see the poke now. Um, so I'm not sure if you've been here for like, what? No. Por qué? I wonder. No. Ah, there we go. I see those. Oh, boy. So, yeah, let's get to it. Let's get doomed. Woo! We're going to, uh, yeah, we're just going to, oh, well, what are you going to do, Crosshair? I have a feeling we'll be using that emote a few more times today. So, just as I was saying, uh, Rita and Pete investigated Kaziah Mason's home last time on Doomed, which is like an old, decrepit uh, boarding house that used to be owned by one of the witches of Salem. Uh, they encountered many things there, many horrible things, hurtled through time and space, um, kind of did some magic, I think, uh, and then were beaten to a bloody pulp. Rita had the choice of taking the black book with her. She found at Kaziah Mason's home, uh, well, Walter Gilman's room, Kaziah Mason's house, um, she found uh, an arcane tome filled with all sorts of, like, mathematical equations and calculations and so on. 
Rita has decided not to take it along with her. If uh, I recall her words exactly, she said, this bullshit? I don't think so. And then threw it back on the lawn. Um, she and Pete deal with real world things. You know, they deal, they, they run, they train, they fight. Uh, they like the, they're more, they're most at home with the issues. What's the word I'm looking for? Like with the, with the terrors that they can see, not the terrors that they can't. The book is bad news. Uh, from my perspective, uh, the book is actually a really good asset. It, taking it would add a skull to the bag, and I feel like that's not a good trade, uh, knowing my luck. So there you go. <laughs> Ew! I know. Ooh, coconut fudge. Yeah, Crosshair, did you do that last time? Was that you? Anyway, welcome to The Wages of Sin. Now, if I recall correctly, I'm not going to say much more about it, but if I recall correctly, this is a hell of a scenario. Um, especially solo, but specifically, even even in groups, it's one of those, you know, we're going to see how it goes, but I think it's one of those, like, do as much as you can kind of situations. So we're going to do as much as we can. Oh, come on! Damn it, Crosshair. What, what the heck? As always, let me know. Uh, I'm going to turn the music up a little bit there. As always, let me know if you can hear... <laughs> oh, okay, Crosshair. Can you imagine if you'd actually done that? You scared me, you dork. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. Um, yeah, we didn't take the black book. What else do I want to say? That's about it. I'll just make sure that I didn't miss anything last time. Um, check the so we were, we found Gilman's journal. That, for some reason, she was cool to take. <laughs> Spooky oohs and ahs. Oh, I bet it was, Crosshair. It's epic. Scenario four. The Wages of Sin, which is, by the way, what a title. Does it actually mean anything, or is it just a collection of awesome words? Ever since your encounter with the ghost in the witch house, you have been forced to reconsider everything you know about life and death. Kaziah Mason died over 200 years ago, but her spirit remains in the spectral mist, the same mist you encountered in Joseph Miger's manor. One question lingers in your mind as you consider the events that have transpired. Does Kaziah's spirit linger because of the mist? Or is the mist caused by her presence? Which is the disease and which is the symptom? Rita's head is already spinning. <laughs> Pete's like, checked out. <laughs> the more you delve into Arkham's history of witchcraft and persecution, the more restless you become. Night after night, you are assaulted by terrible dreams. Dreams of death and decay, of guilt and sin. There is an evil that dwells in the city. An evil that has long remained hidden in the darkness of Arkham's past. What's worse, your inquiry has reached an impasse! Shit. You believe that if you can find the coven of witches you saw in the woods that fateful night, you might be able to learn more about Keziah Mason, or of this unspoken evil. As you go through your morning routine, I presume that's some sort of protein shake, <laughs> your eyes drift across one of the smaller headlines of today's paper. Ghost sightings on Hangman's Hill? Residents of Uptown claim to have seen human shapes in the thick fog emanating from Hangman's Brook. It couldn't be a coincidence, could it? Um, then the realization dawns on you. If it is witches you seek, the only place you can be certain to find them is six feet underground, in the place where professed witches were executed all those years ago. Searching for specters in a graveyard may not be your safest bet, but you're not sure one can stay safe in this city anymore. I feel like this is classic Rita Young. Uh, she's she's not like she's not book smart slash ar arcane enough. Do you know what I mean? Like to <laughs> wow, I wonder what's at Hangman's Hill. Hmm. Um, <laughs> like she doesn't have enough sort of arcane studies or you know uh, like accumulated uh, academic knowledge to like have any idea where to start. Um, she sees a lead, she pursues it. They're looking for. Witches, mist, anything to do with Kaziah Mason and the town's history. Rita's also starting to suspect that she may also have had, um, you know, like a, a, a witch in her family tree. Um, not that that's, you know, that's obviously not bad or whatever, but like, it's interesting is how she's feeling. Okay, so in terms of setup, I just want to point out, uh, I already put all the locations down and I... Uh, shuffled six heretic enemies and set aside four of them and removed two from the game. 
a lot of these a lot of the um locations and cards in today's episode in today's scenario have story text on the other side so i ain't flipping them i've also built crosshair you're gonna love this i've built the standard encounter deck and something called the spectral encounter deck what it says here uh here i'll just flip to the next page what it says here <laughs> yay what it says here is that um, I'm just reading in the second paragraph here. While an investigator is at a location with the spectral trait, you use the spectral encounter deck instead of the standard encounter deck for all purposes. Um, yeah. Boom. So, <laughs> you know, I did consider, I did consider it, I have to say. <laughs> What's the... <laughs> oh, no problem with the dogs. Um, what do I want to say? Whenever a card would be discarded, it is placed in the discard list. Not all other encounter cards are standard. Great. Okay. Good. Uh, oh, and we start at a place called Hangman's Brook. Originating from a natural spring near the peak of Hangman's Hill, the narrow, shallow brook fills the surrounding woods with a quiet, peaceful babbling. The brook winds down the hill southward, forming the western border of Arkham's uptown district. I mean, that honestly sounds nice. It has a clue on it. I don't know why it wouldn't have put a clue there um in play there's the haunted fields <laughs> oh, and on your left you have the haunted fields and on the right is uh, an abandoned chapel <laughs> jesus h this is a horrible place the haunted fields are connected to oh my god the gallows <laughs> and the heretics graves bugajutsu is from this part of town wrong side of the tracks the abandoned chapel if you go up back oh if you go upstairs it's the chapel attic if you go downstairs it's the chapel crypt there's a lot of text on these but i'm not going to read them until we get there uh, i might read them just to know where i'm supposed to go let's read our agenda and our act agenda 1a ha <laughs> the hanged man 12 surrender yourself to the path of sacrifice consider the good of all before you act let go Eighth Doom. Act 1A. In Pursuit of the Dead. You have come to Hangman's Hill to investigate reports of ghost sightings and strange activity in the woods the last few nights, and to learn more about the witches who once hid in Arkham's past, witches who have since emerged from the shadows in pursuit of some unholy purpose. Oh, hooray! Okay, guys. Um, nice. Uh, Rock Pants is right in there. Yeah, if, it's, if you don't have to buy a vowel, absolutely, let's go with E. Oh! Damn. Mm. Up to six. God damn. Are you doing, like, you know, some crazy word, Crosshair? Uh, this is a three-clue threshold, and it says locations cannot be flipped over because they're, 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 they've got a second side. Locations cannot be flipped over. Okay, so we need three clues. That's fine. Okay, I think we're ready. I don't think I have much more to say. Um, we're just looking for clues here at uh, Hangman's Brook. No, no, no. For sure, for sure, Crosshair. Uh, can I guess... Um, can I guess uh, M as in Mary? Oh, oh, uh, Rock Pants guessed first. God, please don't count both of our... Oh, God. Okay, well, whatever. We're, we're counting both, I guess. All right, let's draw our opening hand. Let's get doomed. Rita's here at Hangman's Brook. Ooh. Interesting. Ah, oh, damn it. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Sorry, chat. Rock Pants, you keep playing here. I don't I don't want to... I'm going to be wrong. Hangman's Brook goes to the Haunted Fields. Three Shroud and two Clues. And then the Gallows and heretics graves abandoned chapels is over here with two shroud and two clues that's probably my jam okay let's draw our opening hand okay well we definitely don't okay that's that's a weakness okay i definitely don't want the resourcefuls uh or the waylay that's not useful but breaking and entering is pretty good to start with no pete pete's promised pete's promised to meet uh, Rita there later, uh, and hopefully he, um, you know, hopefully he shows up in a timely fashion. Uh, 
Hangman's Brook is a four shroud, one clue location, and I can resign from here. Crosshair? <laughs> rock pants, rock pants. Can I guess the word? <laughs> you son of a... <laughs> you son of a hair. <laughs> Crosshair. <laughs> Crosshair, I won't, I'm not taking a horror for this, but is the word Haster, the king in yellow? Did I get it? <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Um, yay! We did it! Okay, I think Rita is like completely at a loss where to start. She can see off in the distance a chapel kind of run down some fields behind which presumably there's like you know graves and stuff but she has no idea where to begin uh what i am going to do oh oh rock pants not at all don't you don't you worry about it um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start by investigating this location rita's gonna poke around there's no way she's gonna find anything because she's too uh too intellect on a four shroud location so i'm just gonna poke around but i'm gonna commit this take heart because it's important to take heart Plus one. I mean, it's still a fail, but that's really strange. Uh, so Rita's unable to find anything, but she's going to draw two, gain two. Look who's here. Jo she's like... Um, what was I going to say? She's just like kind of at a loss. You know, she's like looking under the bridge. She's like thinking about going one way or the other, and jogging up behind her is the sound of a strong gate. It's Pete Sylvester. Pete has arrived, just not a moment to, well, he, you know, he didn't show up to, like, save her or whatever, but the light's starting to wane a little bit, um, and she's like, oh, Pete, hey, uh, you know, and, and they, they kind of, like, lock eyes and then look away and whatever, and, she, and then Pete kind of awkwardly, like, bashfully thrusts his hand in his pocket, and he's like, hey, uh, the caretaker of the grounds gave me these. And he pulls out a ring of keys. She's, she definitely gives him a look, like, you talked to, you know, and he's like, yeah, 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 you know, I, I know talking's not my forte, but at least I got something out of it, right? Move into upkeep, where we will draw a card and gain a resource. And then, of course... Our first mythos phase. We go to one out of eight doom. I'm going to assume that it's going to draw a normal encounter card. It did. That's good. What's going to happen to them here at Hangman's Brook? Ooh. Ominous portents. Ah! <laughs> Says the crow. Uh, it looks down at them straight into Rita's eyes before flying away. Oh yes, this is a peril so I can't discuss it with you. Uh, either draw the top card of the Spectral Encounter deck. It gains peril and it can't be cancelled. I mean, that's fine. Who cares? Or test Will 3 if you fail, take 2 horror. I am testing Will 3, and I'm going to toss in this guts. Because uh, I have 3 willpower, 4 with Pete, 6 because I'm gutsy. I feel like... Um, I feel like... Rita's just gonna look at that crow and be like, you don't scare me. Six to three. Minus one, that's a pass, so I'm gonna draw a card from Guts. Feels real good. And we'll discard... Ah, Ominous Portends. That's okay. Okay, how am I gonna get this clue, I wonder? Hmm, interesting. Um, I definitely want to try to get two... Oh, no, it's just one clue on this location, right? Breaking and entering would be amazing, but I f feel like I should save that for when I have an enemy to evade. There's nothing to break and enter here anyway at the brook. Um, the chapel is something I can actually potentially investigate on my own. Hmm. I'm going to do this. A lucky in hand. I need a clue. I need three clues, right? Is it three? Three clues. I can't flip locations over, so there's like zero clues anywhere else. So I either have to go and get two at the Haunted Fields or two at the Abandoned Chapel, yeah. I'm intrigued, uh, Crosshair. 
It, it, hey, you know, fluke or no, Rock Pants, it's working. Um, okay. Rita has... Uh, hang, uh, uh, Rita reaches into her pocket, um, a pocket of her dress. Yeah, she has a dress with pockets. She finds the lucky penny um, that is her uh, mother's. Yeah, oh, don't worry, Crosshair. I'll, I'll try to get there for you as quick as I can. Um, the lucky penny brings her a bit of comfort. She was able to, you know, she was able to threaten a crow, but they're not sure what else they're going to find here. Let's investigate. I have, I mean, this is just ridiculous, but I'm doing it anyway. I have uh, two intellect against the four shroud of this location, but I'm going to use the old key ring to give it minus two shroud, so two to two. Ooh, Elder Sign. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so I passed, which means I have to discard a key from the key ring. Uh, of course, naturally, at the foot of the bridge is a small, um, like a, almost a guard box. As they try some of the keys from the caretaker, they find that it's actually more of a storage shed. But inside, they find a little map of the grounds, an old printed pamphlet, a tourism guide. It makes mention... What is this? Something to hold? You said crosshair? Sorry, I know I'm zooming in. I'm also trying to like scroll up here. What is it? Object you can hold. Oh, God damn it, crosshair. <laughs> oh boy. Never mind. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let this one play out. Crosshair, is it, is it possible that I can hold these nuts? God fucking damn it. Um, <laughs> that's last action. Oh boy, actually, do I want to move over here? Lag? Lag on me? Let me know. I hope it's okay. Do I want to move into the chapel? I, yeah, I need to get moving. This is ridiculous. Okay, sorry, Rocky. Spectral enemies at the fields. I'm just, I'm just looking at the... Well, maybe if I can get the... There's no way I'll be able to get the clues off haunted fields. Like, it's just not going to happen. So I'm going to move into the abandoned chapel against my better judgment. The abandoned chapel, as per this pamphlet, uh, has a crypt below it. Which is why Rita and Pete have decided to go there. You know, it's unlikely that, that witches would have been buried in a crypt. Unless they're banking on the fact that maybe people didn't want them out in the open field. You know, they wanted them kept close. I hope so too, Rock Pants. Sorry, I, I, that came in a bit earlier than I read it. This old broken down chapel has been abandoned for several decades now. Perhaps once it was a place of sanctity. These days, it is only a source of sober melancholy. All right, it's got victory one, which you love to see. We're moving into upkeep here. So far, so far, so okay. A perception too, okay. So far, so good. We're, it's, it's, it, it's looking okay. It's literally two turns in. I'm sweating and panicking. <laughs> oh boy, let's draw our encounter card. What's gonna happen in the chapel? Oh, it's racked. Um, stepping across the threshold, uh, Pete's like, Rita, what are you waiting for? Um, as she steps in, she feels a familiar burning sensation rushing up her legs and into her spine. It's not a pleasant feeling. I know, Rocky. Ouch. But this is this is not related to this place. This is a hex, and she knows this feeling. Uh, Racked, of course, gives you minus one to each of your skills during the first skill test you perform each round. Um, test will three if you succeed, discard Racked. I really want to get rid of this, and I'm wondering if it's a guts target just to freaking get it out of there. Uh, yeah, do we want to try to shake it off? I'll have three, five to three because of racked. But my the alternative is spending an action to like, uh, spending an action to like be down further on um, investigating. That feels bad. So yeah, let's do it. 
Rita's gonna try to shake off um, the the pain that's sort of like moving up and down her body, knowing that it's a hex and knowing that if she can combat the mind of the person who's casting it, I mean, this is what she's telling herself anyway. Uh, I have three, four willpower because of Pete, minus one because of Racked, but plus two because of Guts. It's five to three, a zero. Ah, perfect crosshair, glad to see it. We'll draw a card from Guts, that feels good, and we're gonna discard Racked. Rita is able to grit her teeth and stretch her body, breathe through the pain, and it dissipates as almost as quickly as it had arrived. And she's left in the abandoned chapel looking around with Pete, trying to figure out where they need to go next. Upstairs, that's fun. Upstairs, downstairs. Um, <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll see about that. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna investigate this place first. I wonder if I should be keeping my perceptions. No, I'm going to toss in a perception on this next one. Um, yeah, Rita and Pete are looking around. They're going to see what they can find here, maybe up at the pulpit, uh, down amongst the pews. I have two intellect, four because of perception. A skull? Skulls are minus X. X is one higher than the number of copies of unfinished business in the victory display. That does not sound good. I'm going to be honest with you. That sounds really bad. Anyway, it's minus one, so I do succeed. Drawing a card from Perception. Depuse. <laughs> Welcome back, Crosshair. I just got a clue. Um, peering down amongst Depuse, Rita and Pete uh, come up with uh, just like some personal effects. These are old. This abandoned chapel, yeah, it's clear it hasn't been used in decades, but clearly um, there are, ugh, how can I say this? Like, clearly there are, there were effects left here by people who left in a hurry. I'm not quite sure why. I'm going to use my last action to use the key ring. Uh, a door at the, <laughs> something might creep right out of the rectory. <laughs> Very good, Crosshair. I'm going to use the um, key ring uh, as provided by our good friend, the caretaker, to see if we can open the door at the back of the chapel. I have two intellect, but now the shroud of this place is also zero. Two to zero. That's still a success, so I lose the last key on the key ring. It discards, and I get the clue. Uh, do I advance now? Nope, we definitely do not advance now. Move to upkeep. There's still no enemies on the board. It's eerily silent here. We don't like it. Put a doom on the agenda. And we'll draw our encounter card here in the chapel. Rita turns the key uh, in the lock and it squeals open, revealing stairs that run up, which are dusty but light-filled, and down into darkness suddenly emanating up from the darkness an absolutely horrific shrieking sound uh revelation test will three for each point you fail by discard a random card uh it gets plus one diff for each copy of diabolic voices in the discard pile but there's only there, there are none so it's i'm testing will three for each point you fail by so i'd love to I'm not committing Perseverance. That's probably what killed me last time. Ah, but I get minus one to my will because I'm in the chapel. Uh, <laughs> so, you want to go to the old attic or the old basement? Um, how about we get the F out of here? <laughs> Leave this investigation to the professionals. We're going to... Oh, boy. So, I'm, I'm taking this test straight three to three. I don't want to keep burning cards. This isn't the worst. Although, actually, if I fail, then I'll be discarding cards at random. So I'd rather discard a card that I know what it is, which is going to be Unexpected Courage. Am I unexpectedly courageous? Not a fucking chance in the world. Um, <laughs> so I had five will minus four. So I, I one to three. I have to discard two cards at random from my hand. So it's actually I lost three in that exchange. Oh, Perception. Oh, no. And my perseverance. Well, 
I guess we won't be persevering today. Rita and Pete stand their ground, but, well, they think they're standing their ground, but they actually find themselves having retreated several feet as they are terrified of what might be coming out of the basement. But nothing comes. Just silence. They look at each other. And then they look up, and they look down. Oh, does it? That's interesting, Crosshair. I didn't know that. That is actually very interesting. I'm going to spend my three clues, and I'm going to advance. Oh, boy. Act 1B, the barrier between. Oh, okay. Sh soft chanting guides you to a gloomy clearing near the abandoned chapel. Okay, so I guess after the scream, they ran outside, in fact. Oh, that's so funny. Persephone is always giggle-worthy. Persephone, who is it? Ass! <laughs> what the hell? Um, a circle of witchweed surrounds the clearing, swaying gently in the breeze. At the center of the clearing, a cloaked woman kneels in front of an unmarked grave, far from the remainder of the graveyard. You watch in quiet for a few minutes while the woman sings an old, somber melody. Creepily, I have no doubt. It reminds you somewhat of a child's lullaby. Soothing, but with a dark gravity that betrays its purpose. As soon as the song ends, oh boy, the woman's cloak dissolves into the mist, and she vanishes in a swirl of shadows. So, obviously, Rita and Pete don't know what's going on, but this song, sung at an unmarked grave, seems to be summoning someone back from the dead. Spawn a set-aside heretic enemy at each of the following locations. The Gallows, Heretic's Graves, Chapel Attic, and Chapel Crypt. Add two clues to each of those locations. Add a clue to each other look. Oh man! Add a clue to each other location. That's so annoying. I just got through getting a clue off this location. What's annoying about it, uh, dear, dear friends, um, is that the... Uh, is that the abandoned chapel has victory one. So if I don't get the clue off this location, I don't get the victory points. Maybe it was victory one on both sides. Hmm. Okay, so I added two clues to each location and one clue to each other. Look at here. Oh boy. Jeez Louise crops crosshair. That sounds like an old Finnish folk song, isn't it? Hmm. Check the campaign log. If you have three or more mementos listed under mementos discovered, I think I do, the mesmerizing flute, <laughs> the ritual components, and Gilman's journal. You understand the tragic lyrics behind the witch's song. Each investigator puts into play a set-aside spectral web asset. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. No, no big deal then, Crosshair, right? No big deal. Um, okay. I suggest you look into a healthier diet. You understand the witch's song. The spectral web, I don't actually know what the spectral web is, which is really strange. Action. Investigators at your location spend clues, one to three clues, as a group. Fight. Fight a geist enemy with this. You may use your willpower instead of your combat. Okay. You get plus X skill value and deal plus X damage, where X is the amount of clues spent. This is a way of turning the clues that you get into, uh, I get, well, damage against geists. Presumably, geists are these heretic enemies. Let's have a look. I'll have a look at the one in the attic. I think they're all the same on this side, yeah. Yeah. So heretics are four combat, two health, three agility enemies. Ah, they get plus two health. So in fact, they are four, four, threes. Wow. 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 Okay. All right. Okay. While a heretic is at a non-spectral location, it gains aloof. It cannot be engaged or damaged. Okay, so it's just chilling there. Spend a clue, parlay. Look at the heretic's other side. After it is defeated, flip it over and resolve the text. Okay, so I can spend a clue to look at what's on the back. What's on the back is probably instructions on what to do with it. However, I have to defeat a four combat, four health, three agility enemy in order to f actually flip it and resolve the text. Now I can use clues to help me with that. I don't know if that's good though, to be honest. Burf. Um. <laughs> They're 
aloof right now, right? It cannot, it gains aloof and cannot be, d yeah, crosshair, Ghostbusters. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, sorry, let's read agen uh, Act 2A. In pursuit of the living. With the mist comes the revenants of the past, Ooh. witches who were executed hundreds of years ago and whose hateful spirits have returned to wreak vengeance upon the living. If you can banish them, you might learn more of the coven's secrets. Now, I underlined the word might there because I haven't done shit in this campaign. It's just survival. Free trigger, flip your location over. Presumably, you can flip it over to its spectral side. Hmm. Clues cannot be discovered at non-spectral locations. Oh, but they keep the... Okay, so when you flip them, they keep their clues. Well, that's annoying. Clues cannot be discovered at non-spectral locations. Objective. Banish as many heretics as you can. If there are four copies of unfinished business in the victory display, advance. Because there's four of them. Okay. My, my recollection is that if I can get one, I feel like I'm going to be doing pretty good. <laughs> so we're going to see. Okay, so I can't get clues at non-spectral locations, but I can free trigger to flip it over. So for example, I could flip over the chapel and then investigate here. I could also go up to the chapel attic. Yeah, oh my god, crosshair, exactly. Let's see, I could also head up to... I could head up to the attic. Thing is... Okay, so I can't get clues. If I flip it over, the heretic will lose aloof. And then it will fight me. But then I can, like, evade or whatever, whatever. whatever. Okay, okay, okay. That's the plan. Did I draw... Oh, yeah. That was the beginning of my turn. Okay. Rita and Pete have seen... Uh, well, they've seen this person, like, summoning the dead, potentially, and suddenly there's, you know, cold mist kind of over all of the grounds, and they know immediately what it is that they need to do. Um, you know, they need to, as best they can, try to find... Well, they don't necessarily know, but they know that all of a sudden there are spirits here. If they can find a way to interact with them, maybe they can do something with that. I wonder if these locations keep the same text on the other side. I mean, I fucking hope so, because it'd be so annoying if they didn't. I'm sure they do. They probably just gained, like, haunted or whatever. Fucking haunted. <laughs> uh, Chapel Crypt feels good. I might on... Uh, sorry, clear clearly it feels bad, but, like, I feel like I might get away with going down there. I don't know. Let's see. Um, okay. I don't want to flip this location over and try to get a clue, because I don't really have a good way of getting a clue right now. Right now. <sighs> Rita's going to take Pete's hand and be like, come on, we know where their graves are, right? There's got to be someone down there with some unfinished business. Rush back into the chapel. I'm going to go downstairs, and I'm going to see what I can do down in the chapel crypt. So, first action, this is potentially going to go horribly. First action, I'm going to move into the chapel crypt. Chapel Crypt says, A narrow stone staircase guides you deep below the chapel, where those of good repute were given, quote, proper burials. In a far corner of the room, a strange dusty contraption is connected to one of the coffins. Ugh. As dead as everything else in this room. Ugh. While there are no hex treacheries among our threat areas, it gets minus three shroud. Literally ten out of... Sorry. One out of ten doctors already had something go horribly wrong, Crosshair, so, you know... <laughs> Um, I'm just gonna go for it. I Like, Rita is a fighter and a survivor, as is Pete. Like, they just need to try something, you know? So, free... <laughs> exactly, Crosshair. Free trigger, flip your location over. Okay, Chapel Crypt. Okay, so it keeps its, it keeps its location. It's now a spectral location. While there are no hex treacheries among the investigator's threat areas, it gains th uh, minus three shroud. Haunted. Find the topmost hex in the standard encounter discard pile and put it in play in your threat area. Blech. So that would be racked. So I can't really fail. However, the heretic now engages me because it lost aloof. It's a 4-4-3. I am going to... Uh, I'm going to break and enter this location, as you do. So I'm going to spend two to play breaking and entering. Uh, 
this yeah i know well so crosshair i can spend a clue to look just to see what it is because presumably there's like instructions on the other side that hopefully aren't like you know like take a damage every turn or whatever I mean, it might be um but yes after it is defeated flip it over but i'm hoping to be take a bit of time with this you know maybe not t well we'll see so breaking and entering despite the feeling of something being present there <laughs> yeah so you can just like you can just chat them up <laughs> as you do um rita and pete are like well hang on why is that coffin different what's this contraption that's connected to it you know and they head over they're going to use their brute force to try to break into the coffin you know worst case scenario there's like a skeleton in there so it's not such a big deal I'm going to try to bust into this coffin and see what's inside. Um, I'm adding my agility to my skill tests, or to my skill value. I have two intellect and six agility, so I'm, I'm investigating at an eight. Uh, eight to three. Like, what is this? Like, it's fine. It's a success. If you succeed by two or more, you may automatically evade an enemy. But, like, I didn't. God damn. Anyway, I get a clue off this location which feels good it has three shroud because i don't have any hexes um do i spend this clue to parlay i feel like i should be keeping my clues well i am going to evade last action so that's that's a definite yes i have to evade this enemy because otherwise i'm going to be taking some damage and i do not want to start that stuff right now um let's evade i have six agility against the three of the heretic Ugh, i don't like this token Aha, uh -huh, exactly, Crosshair. Yeah, I only need clues. Oh, I only, okay, aha. Uh -huh. I only need clues to look at their other sides or potentially use the spectral web to fight them. Uh, sorry, Crosshair, this must be like, crazy. there's so many cards in play and like none of them make sense and I'm just like rattling stuff off here. I can use this spectral web spell to spend clues to fight with willpower. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, cool. Um... Spending clues and fighting with willpower gives me more willpower and deals more damage as long as I fight with uh, geists, which are which these guys are. Uh, I was evading. I was a six on three. This is an elder thing. If you fail and it's attack or evasion, resolve haunted. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. I, well, I haven't failed, so I evade it successfully. I'm going to successfully evade it, and I'm going to put a damage on it because of Rita's ability feels good do i spend the clue yeah i'm gonna spend the clue to look uh inside the coffin i, th I th yeah i think well the spectral web also uses willpower so i'm wondering if it's for like you know sorcerer types or whatever in case you don't have like actual fighty bits mm. so i'm gonna spend the clue Inside the coffin is indeed a small skeleton, perhaps a child. Clutched in its hands is a little toy. So reach down to pick it up. So spending a clue allows me to parlay and look at the heretic's other side. So I am looking, I am not resolving. I am not resolving. I can't be dead. Kaziah promised we cannot die. The spiteful wraith does not relent. Your words cannot reach it, but perhaps you can lay it to rest by force. This feels bad. Okay. It says flip this card back to its enemy side. I'm going to have to do that anyway, but again, I'm not resolving. I'm just looking. It makes an immediate attack. Wow. The next time is... <sighs> okay. Flip this card back to its enemy side. It makes an immediate attack. The next time it is defeated, it is banished. Forced. It... Oh, son of a... Forced. If you looked at this side by resolving the parlay, flip this card back to its enemy side, it makes an immediate attack. Do not resolve any other text. Like, come on. Though I presume this is the one heretic that says shit like this. Oh, I got the angry one. I'm going to take uh, a damage on me. I'm going to put a horror on Pete because it's now the end of my turn, so I heal the horror off Pete. Um reaching down for the toy suddenly rising up out of the skeleton is a creature made of mist and dripping with slime it is the source of the scream 
Uh, Rita's like, oh, and like, you know, ducks back, it swipes at her and screams again. Um, in the upkeep phase, I'm going to ready all my cards, draw a card, gain a resource, and the heretic readies and engages me. We move to the mythos phase. <laughs> oh no, don't, no, no, I'm just looking. Oh, oh, are you? That is such shit. Sorry, I'm actually really pleased because that's great design. It gives you an ability to spend some of your resources, not literal resources, like, you know, clue resources. It spends some of your progress to, like, look at what you have to do next. This is the one time, I imagine, in this scenario where they're like, ah, 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 this one's angry. But how would I know? I go to four out of eight doom and I draw, not from the regular deck, but from the spectral deck. I imagine these are going to be really bad. Shapes in the mist. Surge. Is that... No, it can't be. It's just my imagination, surely. Oh, sorry. Let's have a look at that card art. It's pretty sweet. The more you look at that shadow in the mist, the worse it gets. It's really horrible. Uh, resolve haunted abilities. So the screaming demon is what? Find the t find the topmost top most hex treachery and put it in the standard encounter discard pile and put it to play in your threat area. A hex. It's racked. Of course, I I knew it was racked. It's guy. So here comes racked. Uh, this also has surge. So you know. Um, the creature is gone, but Rita feels that pain returning. Oh, boy! Um, and before long, floating out of the other side is another creature made again of mist and slime. And this one has hands like razors. This is a 222 Monster Guy Spectral Hunter enemy. When Wraith is defeated by damage, except from a spell or a relic, Instead of discarding it, attach it to its location. Attach location gains haunted, spawn wraith at this location. I'm also racked, which feels like real bad. Okay, I drew my cards. I drew my cards, it's background to me. Um, to be clear, Reed and Pete reached into a coffin, touched a child's toy, got a screaming ghost launching up out at them, the racked hex is back and racking Rita's body with pain while Pete tussles with another wraith in the corner. Yep, about an hour. This is wild. Okay. Okay, so I can use the spectral web to fight the geist enemy. And it is a spell, but I would need... I would need a clue. Which I just spent getting fucked by this <laughs> heretic. Oh, he's not mad though, folks. Don't worry, he's not mad. Um... If I cheap shot, I can fight and automatically evade if I succeed by two or more. That probably feels like the heretic I should do that because then I'll put more damage on it. Bloody heretic! That's probably going to be my first play. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with this wraith, though. I am going to evade it and I'm going to leave. Like... What the heck am I supposed to do here? <sighs> Folks, this doomed is already doomed. What have the heretics ever done for us? Oh, the... How about the aqueducts? All right, fine, the aqueducts. That's fine. What else? Public education. <laughs> I don't remember what he says. Okay. Six shroud. I'd have to get rid of this. Racked. Are there any witches? Oh! <gasps> The heretic is a witch. The heretic is a witch. Okay, so plan. Evade the heretic, evade the wraith, automatically get rid of the racked. Do we love it? No. Do we like it? How much uh, music do I have left? We're good. I mean, this is the game, right? The game. <laughs> Cause you're a duck. And therefore, <laughs> the heretic people's front. I love it. I love it. Um, Rita's going to rip the toy out of the skeleton's hands and jam it into this heretic's heart, uh, causing it to scream and stagger back. This is a cheap shot. 
I love Cheap Shot. Cheap Shot's a fun card. I don't even think it's that good. It just says, aim for the eyes, they told me. Uh, it appears to be uh, an investigator like Trish Scarborough throwing sand into the one of the thousand eyes. Uh, that is correct, Crosshair. I actually have... I, I did... Back in the day, I think it was a teenager, um, I did a number of episodes of Flying Circus and the three films back-to-back. -back, and... It definitely was one of the best days of my life. <laughs> uh, we'd start early and watch all day so people could jump in or out, but um, so to speak. But that would be a lot of fun. Okay, cheap shot. Add your agility to your skill value for this attack. So I'm fighting at a three plus six is nine to four. Let's goddamn party. Sorry, eight to four because I am racked with pain. Plus one! The big plus one! It works. The heretic screeches in pain as it disappears into a wall. Um, I deal a damage to it because of... Well, I was fighting because of Cheap Shot, but I can automatically evade it in, as well, which I will do. And I'll use Rita's ability to put another damage on it. Yeah, because we want to defeat it. Oh, this is the one that says comes back to life, basically. <sighs> so annoying. Okay, second action. We're just going to straight evade this wraith. Uh, I have six agility versus the two of this business. <clears throat> okay, no, 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 hang on. I remember this one. This is, this elder thing is a minus two. Um, Rita and Pete are like, you know, having jammed this child's toy into this geist's heart. Uh... Rita rushes over and, like, slides under Pete Sylvester, trying to drag him out of the path of the oncoming ghost. They manage to just get away as it disappears uh, into the wall. She's just like, what the hell is going on? Uh, last action, I'm going to test Will 3. Uh, if there's an exhausted witch at your location, it is automatically successful. Ah! We talked about this the other day. Um, if a test is going to be automatically successful wait a second crosshair the other ones i mean there's like um now for something completely different is a film technically but like it's just a collection of their best sketches right i might be wrong no, no I, well per personally i would do flying circus and the three films like i would do i would do like holy grail when everyone could be there life of brian when most people could be there some episodes of Flying Circus, and then Meaning of Life. My favorite, for what it's worth. Uh, that that is that is a weird effing movie, um, and I love it to death. And the German episodes. Some card abilities may cause a test to automatically succeed. If it is automatically successful, it does so during step six. Oh my god, Time Bandits! And the Ruttles. Um, oh boy. Okay, well, I, I, you know, color me shocked here. I didn't know there was so much going on here. Um, no, where is it? Where is it? I'm looking for, sorry folks, I'm looking for the, there it is, skill test timing. I have to reveal a chaos token and resolve its effects, but it's going to be automatically successful. So I'm testing Racked. And I resolve the thing. Cool. So, racked discards uh, into the standard discard pile. In the enemy phase, nothing happens because I'm pretty sure these geists. No, they don't. They don't hunt, which is good. Uh, in upkeep, naturally, I've got uh, a wraith and a horrible heretic geist back on me, like nobody's business. Uh, let's draw a card and gain a resource. Live and learn. Okay. I've got my hands free. Where's that bow? Like, let's go. I am ready to shoot. <laughs> I'm ready to shoot some ghosts. We're up to five out of eight. And I have to draw from the Spectral Encounter deck. What was the other Spectral Encounter card? Sorry, folks. What was the other oh, it was the Geist. It was the Geist, which I got in play now. If... <laughs> I mean, two luckies also feels pretty good, at least. Oh, fuck off! This is another wraith. Um, oh, that's so bad. 
Okay, well, I'm just spending my whole turn uh, evading. And hoping to draw an Elder Sign. All, like, as soon as... Like, it, 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 it's almost... It's almost magic if magic had a negative connotation. As soon as Rita and Pete had lifted the lid of this coffin and tried to find something, the heretic inside uh, does not respond to their attempts to discuss anything with them. They're, it's just screaming and dashing through walls while various wraiths continue to uh, pop in and out of existence, clawing at them. This is horrible. Okay. So it's my turn. Um... <laughs> yeah, you just wanted to take a peek, huh? I actually, I have to say, Crosshair, like, it feels very thematic from an, like, Elder God's perspective, you know, like the old ones. The idea, and, and this is why I also love something like, um, you know, Eternal Darkness, the GameCube game. I've talked about it many, many, many times. It, you know, these, the, 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 this narrative... It's not just about, like, you know, in the Forgotten Age, for example, there were cultists that would, like, come up and, like, try to try to knife you to try to get you off the, like, the back of their conspiracy. But Leo Anderson just, like, pulls out a flamethrower and burns them to the ground, you know, shoots cultists and burns snakes. That's fine. It's as soon as you try to interact with the actual mythos, your mind just fragments and shit just explodes. It's an overwhelming problem. Now, I will say there is a resign action on Hangman's Brook. So if I need to, I can just peace. I mean, I can just peace. I can run. I would have to evade and like try to get out of there as best I could. Okay, well, um, I mean, the hope is that I can evade all of these guys. Sorry. The sound coming from over there, it's fine. Yeah, Leo knew more than he shoved. The only way to win is not to play the game. Burn it down. Okay. Basically, I'm going to evade each of these things. Um, I'm wondering if I want to use my ability on the heretic. If I damage it, if I recall correctly, it's going to then flip back over. That's okay. I think I can take a couple hits for now, he said. <laughs> Not actually convinced that he could. I'm just going to spend the whole time evading until I draw an Elder Sign, and then I'm able to use my uh, ability. So, look, I'm just going to describe this whole narrative all at once. Rita is going to... Uh, she's trying to get to the door, but she's like grabbing iron bars off walls. She's like kicking stones over. She and Pete are just desperately trying to stay out of the way of the ghosts that are coming for them. I have six agility versus the three of the heretic. That's an evade. Um, so I'm going to evade it and I'm going to deal it a damage. <sighs> oh, you're welcome, Crosshair. This puts enough damage on it to uh, flip it over and resolve the text on the other side, which, if we recall says the spiteful wraith does not relent your words cannot reach it but perhaps you can lay it to rest by force flip it back to its enemy side it makes an immediate attack so uh is it healed dun 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 -a. this is a good question yeah, I mean, uh, me too, Crosshair. There's nothing to say that it... I I have to play it like... Yeah, sorry. There's, um... Crosshair, if you don't already know this, I think you'll enjoy this. Um, you probably do, though. In uh, in Exalted, there are several uh, rules, right? The Orichalcum rule, the, the Golden rule, you know, various things like that. In Arkham Horror, the LCG, they very specifically wrote in the Grim rule, or the Dark rule, or whatever it's called. If an outcome or a ruling is unclear based on the card's text, you have to, you have to choose the worst outcome. <laughs> it's very specific. I, I'm going to find it. Hang on. Sorry, I just think this is very fun. Where is it? Um, uh, ooh, I can't remember where it is. 
There's pro it's probably in the how to play guide or whatever. It doesn't matter. The point is, I have to very specifically, if I'm not sure of something, just to keep the game moving, they're like, just choose the worst option. Yeah, but basically, Crosshair. So let's heal all damage from it. It makes an immediate attack. One horror goes on Pete, a damage goes on me. We're going to evade the other wraiths. Um, oh, actually, good question, though, Crosshair. You think... It makes an immediate attack. It doesn't say it like... It doesn't say that, though. Okay, that actually, though, Crosshair, I'm going to say that it does stay evaded. Because you can make an attack... Like, cards... Enemies can attack while evaded or exhausted if their text says that they can. So I'm going to assume that it can be exhausted. That feel It doesn't say unexhausted, because sometimes they're like, you know, disengage it from all enemies... Or, like, unexhaust it and, like, re-engage... Whatever, whatever. I feel like... And I don't think I'm compromising on my ruling here. I think this makes sense. Rita manages to kick the Geist under a pile of rubble. And suddenly a hand, like, pops back out, you know? And it's just like, ah, coming for her. However, I'm going to spend the rest of my turn evading the rest of these wraiths. Um, I'm going to... <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I think so, Crosshair. That's how I feel about it. It's funny, I just got through saying, like, oh, if we're not sure, you have to choose the worst option. But, like, in this case... Yeah, anyway, okay. Uh, yeah, I am six. Yep, okay, good. Evaded. This Wraith is evaded. Let's evade the last one. Ooh. <laughs> Can't pass that. Oh, oh, ah, uh, uh, live and learn. No, do I want to live and learn here? Fuck, do I care? Oh. No, I don't care. I don't care. Um, Rita tries to uh, leap up onto uh, a nearby tombstone to get away from a, a ghost that's crawling along the ground. Um, she doesn't quite make the jump as a piece of the masonry crumbles, and she lands directly in front of the beast as it comes towards her. In the enemy phase, uh, I get hit for two horror. I'm going to put them both on the cherished keepsake and defeat it. <laughs> Honestly, Crosshair, it's my life. Uh, <laughs> that's a good quote. Oh, right, is my music gone? Is my music done? Ah, uh, yes. Smell the fear. Oh, a classic. Okay. Is it Crosshair? I see the quote having been added. Oh, fudge. I know what the problem is, Crosshair. I know what the problem is. Um, shoot. Yeah. Oh, shoot. I'm not going to log in. I'm not going to bother logging in as the nav bot. Oh, fudge. How do I do that? so annoying the bot is a heretic it's getting very hot in here folks i'm gonna open some windows okay uh you can see i'm already kind of sweaty i turned off the ac so that we could play around a little bit give me two seconds here i'm just gonna go to our brb screen um do i have water so i have lots of water i'm just gonna open some windows and get the fan okay enjoy some creepy music while i deal with this geist that's coming to kill me okay great see you in a sec Hello! Welcome back to Doomed. Solo playthroughs through Arkham Horror, the card game with this focus on roleplay and storytelling. I effed it up again! How many times have I said this? Welcome! Uh, yeah, I definitely... Uh, Crosshair, great shout. I really forgot. Of course Navbot's not following me. So ridiculous. I'll do, I'll fix that up. And I'll fix that right up. Good. Oh, okay, so okay. Thank you, Crosshair. So we could have we could have the old actually, you know what, Crosshair? Remind me, we'll talk later. Um what we'll do is we'll have potentially what we could do, I will have um we'll have Moobot handle all the like commands, and then we'll have uh Navbot handle like the games and like 
you know, the automated sort of info things. Because it can... Oh, I can't post. <laughs> I see the issue. Thank you. I just got water delivered to me. Okay. Back to it. Because I am afraid of no ghosts. It's just incredible. Um, yes, I heal a horror from Pete at the end of my turn. In the enemy phase, I got... Yeah. Rita's lucky penny from her mom tumbles out of her pocket, and she, like, tries. She reaches to grab it, and it vanishes inside the gaping maw of the wraith that's clawing its way towards her, which vanishes into thin air. Uh, in the upkeep phase, everything readies, including this other wraith and this heretic, which is now a shield of damage. Uh, <laughs> draw a card, gain a resource. Oh, fuck! Y'alls haven't seen this guy before. Mmm. This is exciting. Crosshair. I don't think you've seen this yet. Rita's signature weakness. All investigators in Arkham have a, uh, a signature card that only they can include. They have to include it. A signature weakness and a random basic weakness. Rita has an enemy weakness, which in this context is goddamn terrible. Like, I cannot tell you how bad it is in this exact moment. I now have more enemies on me than I actually can handle in one turn. So I'm going to have to, like, you know, use my ability to move out or whatever. Uh, oh, ooh, sorry, I can't see all. So there we go. Oh, RJ, hello. Oh, baby, it's a quadruple. Well, what up, RJ? Welcome to Doomed. And we are uh, living up to its name today. In upkeep, I just drew. So, perfect storm of death. Um, I'm going to. I'm gonna go through mythos before I before I talk about what is actually happening here because I, <laughs> RJ, shit happens. Oh, I will, I will across here. I just felt like you'd want to see what other bullshit I'm gonna pull before I do anything else. Fate of all fools. Fate of all fools is fine. Fate of all fools just goes in my play area. Is it a hex? Nope, it's fine. So the fate of all fools is to die at the hands of horrible beasts. We're in the crypt under an abandoned chapel. We're looking for ways to banish these uh, witches. Like, sorry, uh, dead witches. Uh, there are other wraiths there. Rita and Pete are like, door, door. And they run for the door. And blocking their exit, a group of young men wearing hoods. Uh, hoods is a... It's Rita's weakness. It's a 333 humanoid cultist. It preys only on Rita Young. It's alert and a hunter. It follows you, and when you evade it, if you fail, it attacks you. It also says forced, after you evade hoods, it attacks you. And then it says, you damn cowards always cover your faces. You're just like the damn clan, always too scared to let people see who you are. So, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to politics this up too much because this isn't the stream for it necessarily. However, Rita Young is an African-American track star in the 1920s in uh, Arkham, Massachusetts, but America. Her weakness is a number of cultists who wear hoods and want to kill her. I'm just saying. I like it. Uh, I like that that's a thing that the game, the game went for it. Um, and I cannot wait to beat the shit out of these assholes. There's a group of men standing at the foot of the stairs. And Rita can just see... The, oh, I see now. Um, Rita can just see the hint of a smile on his, <laughs> yeah, um, on his twisted, scarred face as they step through the door. The three of them draw daggers and shivs, and Pete Sylvester's like, "No way!" And we're gonna fight. Uh, so yeah, Mythos brought me the fate of all fools. And we're back into the investigation phase. Okay. There's a, like, a heap of damage coming at me. Which feels really bad. Um, a damage and a horror, a damage and a horror. 
two horror, two horror. That is, if I did nothing, or if I took an attack of opportunity, it would be two damage and six horror. Could I survive? No. Yes. Three on Pete, three on me. <laughs> Just absolutely disgusting. Um, I mean, honestly, this is horrible. Okay. This is nice pensive music as well. Rita looks back into the crypt, swarming with angry ghosts, you know, the, like, ectoplasm sort of forming this film on all the objects as, like, ghosts kind of pop in and out of walls, screaming, you know. Uh, and then in the doorway blocking their exit is a group of, a group of men wearing cloaks and hoods, smiling and advancing. After you evade hoods, it attacks you. So I think I want to evade it last, because then what I can do is move out. Hey, Rocky! Someone's been playing Slay the Spire. It's me, and you, and Liz, and Crosshair. Uh, a lot of people have been playing Slay the Spire lately. I'm hoping to draw an Elder Sign. An Elder Sign would allow me to deal an enemy or move. Deal an enemy. Deal a damage to an enemy or move. Crosshair makes a good point. Oh, shit, Rocky. How's it going? How's it going? You still like it? Still fun? Ah, Gunner! Hello! Welcome to Doomed. Solo playthrough Sir Arkham Horror, the card game with a focus on roleplay and storytelling. And today, with an extra special focus on ghosts. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Crosshair. Yeah, okay, no, you're right, Crosshair. I have to I have to be okay with it. I will say if I take a hit from a Wraith instead, they can both go on Pete and he'll heal one of them next turn. That's not ideal. But oh, but I have to take an attack from Hood. You know what I need? I need the bow. What are my other damage options in this deck? Fucking shit. My other damage options in this deck are uh, the copy of Cheap Shot that's in the bin. I think I have nothing else. God, I suck. <laughs> Oof. I think that's the most minimal I... Yeah, everything's a hunter. That's the other crazy part. The heretic is not. So I could go back to it once I've dealt with everything. We're going to... What do I want to do here? <laughs> How about death? I'm going to start moving back towards the place where I can resign, having received zero. Uh, let's, let's start by evading a wraith. I'm six to two. That's, uh, you know, that's that's an evasion. And I'm going to use my reaction ability. Oh, fudge. Um, I'm going to use my reaction ability to move, which doesn't trigger an attack of opportunity, I should say, which feels good. So I'll use my last two actions to, again, just continue to evade. Again, I'm six to two. Rita is somehow managing to slam past the cultists running up the stairs. Uh, six to two for this wraith. A skull, which is still minus one. So that's evaded. Still hoping for that elder sign, baby! Let's actually just check, make sure it's in here. Just checking. Yeah. Oh, I got one this game already. Do they ever crosshair? I think we I think we were misplaying it in our in our run through. I I had to check. Um Yeah, if an enemy is engaged with you, it stays in your threat area if you move, which is just horrible. Um I mean, that's the problem, right? Like in solo in particular, it's it's entire Hey, DJ, welcome to the party. The party is I'm dying. All right. Um <laughs> you see, enemies never stay in my threat area. Uh, that's a flamethrower, just for clarity's sake. Death party! 
DJ, welcome to Doomed. Uh, in The Wages of Sin, Rita and Pete are exploring uh, Hangman's Brook and the abandoned chapel. They've found an angry ghost in the chapel crypt. Uh, they're trying to get away from everything because there's angry ghosts, heretics, and uh, men in hoods that want to kill Rita. Feels real bad. Last action, I'm going to... Angry goats, gotcha. Okay, cool, good. Just, just check. <laughs> Let's uh, evade this heretic. Six to three! Oh! <laughs> How? I've drawn this minus four so many times, this scenario. Like, it's crazy! I think I have to kill Pete. I feel real bad about it. Oh, that's so annoying. Like, honestly, Crosshair, what's happening? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. In the enemy fa- Oh, 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 oh! No, no, sorry. I'm gonna play Live and Learn. Oh, fuck. I need Live and Learn. No, you know what? I have- No, no, no. I have to use Live and Learn. I can't lose Pete. <laughs> I can't. Trying to slide under the heretic. Rita's confronted by it again, and she's like, Ah! You don't like going high, do you? And she leaps up onto one of the pews and starts to run along the backs of them out towards the door. Live and Learn says, play after a skill test you failed ends, attempt it again with plus two skill values. So I'm now an eight. That's a success. So I will evade the heretic. I mean, weirdly enough, like it doesn't actually matter, right? Um, I'm going to take a damage on me and a damage on Pete in the enemy phase. Um... In the upkeep phase, everything readies, including this heretic, including this wraith. <laughs> Draw a card, gain a resource. Oh, look, it's unexpected courage. I mean, I am unexpectedly courageous. Uh, oh, and I'm no longer... While it is at a non-spectral location, it gains aloof. Okay, so, folks in the chat, I'm pretty sure this has been a mi misplay. Um, this heretic, I dragged it with me to a non-spectral location, so I think it should have become aloof at that moment, which means it wouldn't have engaged me. Oh, no, 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 yeah, yeah, it's aloof now, it's aloof now, crosshair's right, boom. <sighs> okay, so that's how you do this, you drag it to a place where it can't materialize. This is crazy, I love the, the vibe of this. I've like dragged it up out of the cellar and now it's like dematerialized. It's kind of gone. It's there. Rita and Pete can see it. There's there's more pressing matters. This wraith, this hoods, uh, this fate of all fools. I'm gonna go to seven out of eight doom, my god. And I'm gonna draw, oh no, I'm drawing from the regular encounter deck, ha ha. Cause I'm in a regular place. Oh, fudge, it's centuries of secrets. Centuries of secrets. Perhaps these mysteries are better left unknown. Rita is able to escape the clutches of most of the creatures here, but not only is one of the geists, whoops, hot on her tail, um, but these men in hoods haven't slowed. She doesn't know if they're maybe involved with the wick, the the coven. Maybe they're involved with the uh, with the um, Twilight, the Silver Twilight Society. Thanks, Crosshair. I'll try. Um, Centuries of Secrets. Test Will Five. I have to kill Pete and take a damage if I fa uh, sorry if I discard a curse from failing. So I'm just gonna take it. I'm just gonna take the test. Take the test! Oh, sorry, hang on. And I have minus one, so I'm actually three minus one, so I'm two to five, so I'm discarding the top two cards of my deck. Uh, three cards of the encounter deck. If a curse is discarded, that's a curse. So it doesn't matter. Okay. This is our mystery, and you're not gonna have a slice of it! So I have to kill Pete. <laughs> Which, like, I gotta tell you, it feels real fucking bad. Um, it feels real bad at this exact moment in time. How much horror have I taken? Later, Pete. 
Rita is rushing to get out of the church. She's like, if I can find something to hit these guys with, I am going to beat the shit out. And then she turns around. Pete's being dragged into the middle of the circle. She's like, Pete! And they start chanting again. Background to the investigation phase. I think I need more... Um, weirdly enough, I think I need more fight options. I have a lot of, like, cards that are good defensive cards, you know? Things that let me, like, defeat willpower treacheries and stuff, but... They did not. They did not work. Oh, DJ, I'm sorry. Don't worry. Peter Sylvester's the big man on campus, and he will come back. Perhaps not today. <laughs> we're gonna uh, we're gonna evade this wraith. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Uh, we're going in five to two. That's an evasion. So I'm gonna evade the wraith, and I'm gonna use uh, my reaction ability to move to Hangman's Brook. So Rita is like rushing away. She's like, I'm going to come back for you, Pete. But the crowd of people just continue to follow her. Now, Hoods doesn't have retaliate, which is interesting. So I could just try punching them to death. Back at Hangman's Brook, Rita turns around and she's like, wait a fucking second. What is it with you assholes? You know, she like turns around. She's like, who are you? Who are you? I'm going to go in three to three. Uh, I have luckies in hand. I might play them. Nope, that's a plus one. Damage! Let's go! Rita's like... Rita, like, they come back, and she's like, Gimme Pete! Where's Pete? What did you do to Pete? You know? Crack! Thwack! You know, she's a track star, not a boxer. But when she gets going, you know... <laughs> Don't worry, he'll be back. In repeats... Crosshair, quick catch-up. I had to kill Pete from Centuries of Secrets, which feels real bad. But I got away from the other Geist, and now I'm punching the hoods. Uh, let's go again. Uh, three to three. Minus one. I'm going to play Lucky and pass. A uh, Lucky hit knocks out another guy, uh, and they start to look... <laughs> they start to look a little scared. In the enemy phase, Hunter's Hunt... Correct, DJ. I, I don't think... I don't think Rita has a lot of experience, but she has moxie. You know what I mean? These geists are... They are coming for me, and I am not feeling good about it. In the enemy phase, I also take a damage and a horror, which have to go on me. In upkeep, everything readies. And I draw a card and gain a resource. Motherfucker? It's the ornate bow. If I can get this down, I am going to start shooting people. <laughs> Sorry to say it's so weird. I am going to start. Ooh, I am going to start shooting people like nobody's business. Okay. However, I am at a place that has resigned, by the way. So, you know, I feel okay about that. Yeah, crosshair. Kraken. Oh, 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 right, right, right. Crack it. Look at that gorgeous mustache gunner. Woo! Back. It's this epic fight on the small wooden bridge over Hangman's Brook. Rita is taking on, like, four dudes. They're all trying to come at her with little shivs and, and knives, and she's just, like, knocking dudes off the bridge, kicking them in the nuts. Like, she is going ham so to speak. Agenda 1B, Death's Descent. The sobs of the dead echo throughout the woods. Oh, shit. Accompanied by murmured promises and whispered threats. But when the spectral mists blots out the sky, all turns quiet and still. Your hair stands on end, and you begin to tremble. Every fiber of your being screams flight. The hunter has smelled the blood of its prey, and now it has come to claim your fate. Uh, good point, Crosshair. I do sometimes drink, like, colas and root beers, but, like, it's definitely less often than I drink Kraken. Flip each location to its spectral side. Flip. 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 Uh, I can still flip things, but clues can't be discovered at non-spectral locations, so... <sighs> Put the set-aside, the Spectral Watcher enemy into play, 
at Hangman's Brook, which of course is where I am, you know, because I didn't think that something was going to spawn here. Exactly, Crosshair. Mist pours down the brook and... Uh, oh, sorry, and then shuffle the rest of the encounter set into the spectral discard pile along with the... Yes, okay. There we go. Um, this is horrible. Oh, ooh, ooh, DJ's applied to be a writer for a magazine. I've been a fan of since your teens got shut down since started again. Alt Community Zine. Hey, DJ, that is so cool. When you say a writer, I'm curious to know... Does that entail a specific, like, area of expertise? Like, depending on how narrow the brand is, I suppose it might be, like, a general kind of person who writes generally for art, nerdery, fetish, and unpopular culture. That is absolutely awesome, DJ. Uh, Crosshair, please remind me, or if you don't mind sending me a quick reminder, uh, I have to get Navbot to follow me, lol, which I will do pouring mist comes down uh, the where once there was a babbling brook there is now just cold quiet mist and standing up out of it it is the spectral watcher thank you crosshair I see you already messaged me I really you're on the ball the spectral watcher is an alert hunter it is an ancient one and it doesn't die it says when it's defeated instead of discarding it dis disengage it and whatever there is no escaping fate. I still have to draw from the spectral deck. Agenda 2A, Death's Approach. Hangman's Hill is plunged into darkness as the spectral mist invades every inch of the woods and the chapel. Somewhere in the mist, right here, the Watcher spies its prey with eyes as empty as graves. Locations cannot be flipped over, so I couldn't even turn them back if I wanted to. Seven Doom. Seven Doom to get all four heretics. JK, I'm going to try to get one, but I'm probably not going to get any. Let's draw an encounter card and uh, cry. Realm of Torment. When your turn begins, resolve each haunted ability on your location, which, you're not going to believe this, is take a damage, and you can't resign. Well, we can't resign this round, so I guess we're fighting our way out of this. Rita looks around, and she's just like, you mother... F and she's going to go for the most epic of drop kicks on this, uh, the remaining... Um, the remaining cultist members seem to be praising the fact that they, they seem to be in some sort of rapture as the mist pours into the area and the, the watcher stands out of the soupy mass that was the river or the brook so she's going to try to creep up behind them and smack them on the back of the head I'm going to fight here I'm a uh, I don't know I'm a three on three yeah let's do it I'm coming back to this DJ in a sec dynamite ancient more like ain't shit well played <laughs> And then it eats your face. Um, the thing is, Crosshair, at least you could defeat it and run away. You'd have, like, a couple rounds to get away from it, right? Which is good. Leo, I think, would be really good in this... Yeah, Leo would be good in this campaign. For will. For combat. Beat up some witches. Why not? DJ says the best view on it. Burlesque and sideshow kind of stuff. Sexy and sensational. Very human. Really, really, really cool, DJ. I'm really happy to hear that. I hope you get it? Did you say you applied? Okay, cool. Um, yeah, what the hell, Crosshair? You've been sitting on that one for months. Weeks. Hmm. That's good. Oh, I see. Okay, we're going for a punch here, folks. I am three on three. Let's do it. Let's punch. Punch! Ah! Zero! Suck it! The hoods. Um, Rita manages to land the killing blow on the last cultist as she stares out over the river floating just above the surface of what was once water the watcher from the silver twilight lodge he starts to float towards her and guess what we need to get away um i'm gonna evade i am five on three 
We're doing it. Woo! Uh, this is minus two. Yeah. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay. So the Spectral Watcher, I've evaded the Spectral Watcher. I'm going to use my reaction to get the F out of here. I'm going to head over to the Haunted Fields. Oh, fudge. DJ, great question. Um, we don't know yet. Rita doesn't know yet. I can tell you that in the very first scenario, I had to shuffle in three copies of Demonic Piping, and I had to set aside an enemy called the Piper of Azathoth. That's what I can tell you. <laughs> I think that should give you a bit of a sense, though. Oh, fudge me. This is... Oh my god. Okay, well, last action, I'm putting the bow into play. Like, let's go. So, Rita runs off into the distance. Um, ah! Ah! Oh, actually, okay, yeah, this is maybe not bad. Um, she can't leave. Like, the, the spectral uh, watcher was blocking her. Uh, her path so she takes off in the other direction away from the chapel which is currently you know ghost ghosty into the fields this realm tolerates no life whatsoever three shroud it's got three clues on it um <laughs> do, 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 do. each spectral enemy at haunted fields gets plus one horror value they do lots of horror and haunted move the nearest spectral enemy once Fudge me. In the enemy phase, uh, Hunter's Hunt, so that specifically these two wraiths are coming for me like nobody's business. Um, oh, sorry, at the end of my turn, I have to test Will 3 for Realm of Torment. I'm going to commit the courage to this to be 5 to 3. I want to get rid of this Realm of Torment. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Well, fudge. Um, it's until the end of the round. Anyway, okay, I got rid of the Realm of Torment. That's good. Rita rushes out into the field and takes a moment to breathe, and she's like, where did they take Pete? Who were those guys? And what the hell is that? Turning back around, she notices uh, a small footlocker. Exactly, Crosshair. Exactly. That she hasn't seen before. Rushing towards it, she uses the very last key on the uh, concierge's keychain, opens it up, and inside finds the decorated bow uh, from the Silver Twilight Lodge, and she's like, who put this here, you know? Let's draw a card and gain a resource. It's old key ring! It's too late to get clues. I don't have time for this. Um, <laughs> now we're going to draw from the uh, spectral deck. Watcher's Grasp. Heal three damage from the Spectral Watcher. Ready the Spectral Watcher. It moves, engages, and attacks as if it were the enemy phase. It gains prey you. So, guess what? And no sooner has she grabbed the bow that coming out of the mist is the Watcher itself. It deals me a damage and a horror. <laughs> Well, Pete, you wanted a greater sex life and a reputation as a tough guy. Here's your great, greater, get sexing, tough guy. <laughs> DJ, Pete's gone. He's gone. We're going to get him back. It's okay. Um, I take a damage and a horror because it's as if it's the enemy phase. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. It engages and attacks as if it were the enemy phase. Oh my god. This never comes up, but I'm going to tell you about this right now, folks. Um, in the enemy phase, uh, each ready engaged enemy makes an attack. When it attacks, it deals its damage to the engaged investigator. It is exhausted after attacking. If it is engaged with multiple enemies, resolve their attacks in order, blah, blah, blah. So, in other words, normally what happens is in the enemy phase, they attack you, 
they exhaust, but then they immediately ready again, so it doesn't matter. You don't have, like, a window to move or whatever. This is actually a, quite good, because I did have to take a damage in a horror, but it's exhausted. <laughs> it's exhausted from beating up Rita. I am in so much goddamn trouble. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, woof. Uh, oh, boy. I mean... Yeah, I know, Crosshair. I have seven damage and three horror. Oh, like a cheese grater. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got it, DJ. Oh. Oh, I got it. <laughs> it's horrible, but I got it. Okay. The Watcher doesn't make a sound as it floats towards Rita. She manages to dodge around it and start rushing back towards Hangman's Brook, shivering with the cold. Um, fuck it. First action, I'm going to move in uh, to the uh, to Hangman's Brook. I'm going to get engaged by the two wraiths. Second action, I'm going to evade one of them. Five to... T Is this the right play? Yeah, second action, I'm going to evade one of them. Five to two. Still a success, so whoop. Put a damage on it. Last action, I am going to shoot this bow. Engaged with two raids. Oh, boy. I'm going to shoot the wraith with this bow because it's a relic. And I, if Rita knows one thing, it's that ghosts don't like this bow. She doesn't have any idea why, but like she made a pact with some force beyond her control and very good. I like married at first fright. That's very good. Um, spend an ammo fight. It uses agility. You get plus two agility. So I will, I'm going to, uh, attack. I have seven to two fought. It deals three damage which kills the Wraith. Uh, it is defeated by damage from a Relic. So it goes in the Spectral Discard pile. Like, honestly, though. <laughs> like, absolutely ridiculous. In the enemy phase, Hunters hunt, but everything else is exhausted. Like, I just want to get one. I said, like, getting one would be doing okay. I thought it meant, like, doing well, but I clearly just meant okay. Okay. Upkeep draws me a card. It's Track Shoes! Track Shoes would have been useful at the beginning. Uh, no, good question, Crosshair. Wait, are the not aloof ghost hunters? Yes. Yes, they are. Which means they are coming for me. Feels real bad. Uh, these heretics are not hunters, which is good. Yeah, no, they're not hunters. So they they have unfinished business, and they want to they want to try to communicate what that business is. This is the one that I just have to shoot a bunch of times. So I feel like that's an okay kind of play here. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Mythos phase. Oh boy to doom and i'm on a spectral location so i have to pull a spectral thing terror in the night test will four if you fail that's fine here we go i have three zero i did not fail by three or more so i'm just going to put terror in the night next to the encounter the deck that's fine Ugh, dj yikes we have come to the cultural stage of licking things to claim them this is mine Ugh. Horrible. I've let the role play and storytelling go to the side a little bit here, folks. Rita has managed to get away from the Spectral Watcher, but, like, at least, you know, like, my god, at least she's managed to, uh, I mean, at least she's managed to, like, survive up to this point. <laughs> uh, remind me to marry a cupcake? No problem, DJ. <laughs> she doesn't know what the F is going on, but if only she could banish that one ghost 
Maybe that would help get Pete back. Maybe it's the one keeping Pete. Maybe it has some information. Maybe... She doesn't know. She does not know. It's the investigation phase. I'm going to evade. Yeah, I'm going to evade. I have uh, five evade versus the two of this um, wraith. Zero. It's evaded. I'm going to use my reaction ability to move into the chapel. Rita's decided that, uh, yeah, if nothing else, she needs to at least deal with this one heretic and see if it gets Pete back. Second action, I'm going to evade this guy. Uh, I have five, six, fuck, it's not enough. Six to three. Yeah, good enough. Um, because I need to get another arrow if I want to defeat it next turn, which is okay. I can probably do it, probably. <sighs> Rita's, Rita goes back into the church. The angry spirit. Yeah, well, thanks, Crosshair. Now you've summoned it. <laughs> the angry spirit at the end of the hall, like, whips its head around, and she's like, hey, you're an ugly son of a bitch. You know what? And it hurdles towards her so she can try to roll under it. Uh, I'm going in at six because I committed the shoes. Six to three! Hey! Okay. I can't use my reaction ability, so it's evaded and exhausted. Last action. Reload the bow, baby! In the enemy phase, the spectral watcher hunts. Oh, fuck! Oh, god. I didn't know these were connected. Oh, my god. The spectral watcher hunts in and deals me a damage and a horror. Ooh! So bad! Oh, God! Okay. Ah, oh, jeez Louise. Uh, in the upkeep phase, everything readies, which includes this wraith, which includes this heretic, which engages me. I draw a card and gain a resource. It's waylay. Choose a non-elite enemy at lo your location. Well, those don't exist. <laughs> You bastard. <laughs> and we go back to the mythos phase. Rita has found herself trapped in the church now, and she's just like, my god, what have I done? I'm going to draw an encounter card from the... <laughs> I can't do anything about this. Heal three damage from the Spectral Watcher. Ready it. It moves, engages, and attacks as though it were the enemy phase. It gains prey. You. As Rita, I was, I was, I, f so, so if the Spectral Watcher wasn't here next turn, I would have evaded, shot it with the bow, and then moved away to get away from the, get away from the wraith. And I would have put this unfinished business in the victory display. Instead, the Watcher's Grasp is here. As the Spectral Watcher itself says, there is no escaping fate. Rita manages to knock another arrow and pull back and loose it directly into the heart of the heretic who screams, and then her vision is filled only with the Spectral Watcher. I have to take a damage and a horror, so I'm defeated. I'm going to choose to take a physical trauma instead of a mental trauma. Because I'm not crazy. So I'm defeated. Oh, that's... Oh, I could have resigned at some point. Ugh, I really... I went for it because I had to. Sorry, in my mind I had to. And we're going to go to resolution, whatever defeat is. Oh, it's disgusting. Gunner. So close, I know. So close to one crosshair. So think about it. If you were in, you know, pairs, you could, like, check two different geists and be like, Oh, this one's yours, this one's mine, you know. Resolution 2. Resign to your fate, you fall to your knees. The mist parts. Time slows to a crawl as the Watcher approaches. Emerges, sorry. Its spectral form glides along the ground, approaching with the slow surety of a ticking clock. You close your eyes, unwilling to look upon your killer. Your fingers dig into your palm and you brace yourself. The moment passes. When you open your eyes again, the creature is gone, along with the spectral mist. Have you been spared? 
In your campaign log, record that the investigators survived the Watcher's embrace. Rita survived the Watcher's embrace. I mean, weirdly enough, of course, Pete did not. Um, God! You know what was horrible? It was that... Getting that goddamn hoods. That was the worst. Legitimately, that was the worst. Because at that point, I was like, okay, I'll draw an Elder Sign eventually. I'll just keep kind of fighting and, like, see what I draw. You know, maybe I'll get a Waylay or whatever. It's got to be the hoods. I... Am I the chosen... Am I the chosen one? In your campaign log, record X heretics were unleashed unto Arkham. X is the number of heretic enemies in play. If it is Act 1, instead record 4 heretics. Uh, if it is 3 or less... Record Wisp of Mist under Mementos Discovered. If X is three or less. Okay, so I discovered a Wisp of Spectral Mist. I mean, that feels bad. Four heretics were unleashed unto Arkham, which do that does not feel good. I don't know what that means, but it does not feel good. Each investigator earns experience equal to Victory X. Well, guess what, motherfuckers? <laughs> That's zero. Oh, I didn't defeat anything with Victory. I didn't do anything. If I were... Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait. Oh, shoot. You're right, Crosshair. Sorry. You're absolutely right, Crosshair. Thank you. I was wondering why it was like, wait, why are you rewarding me? Uh, so DJ, I will say, uh, drugs, I don't know, in this game, there, you can get, um, a shotgun and a sawed-off shotgun. Those are guardian and rogue cards, respectively. You can also get, um, enchanted ammunition or, what's it called? Blessed ammunition or something? Anyway, there's a, a again, a, a mystic card that lets you bless ammunition to do extra damage to monsters. No, no, it's perfect, Crosshair. So I'm going to be honest with everybody here. If this were just for me, if it was just me playing, I would replay this scenario. And I would, like, try to eke out one. Because, you know, you would, like, shuffle up. I'm not going to I'm not gonna check necessarily, but, like, presumably the other heretics have things on their other side that isn't defeat this one twice or whatever. It's, like, you know, probably less bullshit than that. Um... Rita has been absolutely overwhelmed by the uh, degree of... Well, exactly, Crosshair. Of course. I should have shuffled more! Rita has been um, kicked to the curb once again by the forces of the witches. The witches' power. I think, if anything... Rita is realizing that the actual power in Arkham lies with these women. And <laughs> who shuffled this deck? Exactly, Rock. Oh, fuck, right. <laughs> I think Rita is realizing that the actual power in Arkham belongs with this coven, and whatever they're choosing to do is something that she should... Well, I th thank you, Gunner. That's my hope. This is the thing. This is all about roleplay and storytelling. It's not about winning or losing. Obviously, I'd love to get, like, a win on Doomed. I have had a few scenarios that have gone very well. Crosshair can attest. Uh, and throughout the, you know, throughout the life cycle of Doomed, I've definitely had some scenarios go very well. You don't necessarily optimize decks to be, like, you know, solo combo killing machines or whatever. I do it. Pukajutsu. The story is a win, but I will take your compliment as a win as well. Bam! Zing! Double win! Oh, God. Ooh, Crosshair wants to introduce a new character. Woohoohoo! <laughs> Join me next time on Doomed for Scenario 5 of The Circle Undone, which I promise is going to go differently, because I'm pretty sure it's not one of these, these like, get fucked episodes. Um, it's called For the Greater Good. In unison, everybody, the greater good. Okay. 
Well, I'm going to assume that you all said it in, in unison. <laughs> um, folks, it's been an absolute blast. <gasps> Ooh, Gunner, Pukajusu does not have to, like, uh, does not have to suck up to me. That is, if anything, I should be sucking up to Pukajutsu. Thank you, Rock Pants. Great Arguda. Folks, it's been an absolute blast. I would like to remind everyone tomorrow at 6 p.m. Eastern on RPG Clinic, it's another episode of Exalted Academy. And then in just a few days from now, on Tuesday at 1800 hours, if y'all don't know this, you should get your shit together. Chief Inspector Stryker, sorry, I have a microphone in my hand and I'm like using it to gesture. On Chief, Insp uh, Chief Inspector Stryker is returning to twitch.tv slash Biff the Bouse because he's got an actual credible lead on his arch nemesis, Carmen San Diego. Now, some of you may not have heard of Carmen San Diego, but trust me when I say she sneaks around the world from Kiev to Carolina. Okay, and that's that's a long distance to travel. He waved his microphone at me, and I swear to God, if I can't anyway, sorry, if Chief Inspector Stryker can't get a win here, I think it's gonna work. I'm very excited. I really hope folks are able to join in. Uh, it's going to be a good time. I also just, you know, as a quick kind of note in passing, there's a lot of Carmen San Diego games. Uh, we'll be playing Carmen San Diego Deluxe, which is from I believe 1991. Uh, it is. It's going to be a trash fire because of how old the game is. If that one goes pretty well, we'll look at We're in Time, which was a TV show. We're in Space. That was a game. Oh, Gunner, that's excellent. I'm really glad to hear it. Gunner, you'll notice Pukajutsu's comment. Hopefully he can keep both his hands. That is a reference to Chief Inspector Stryker's last venture into the world. Uh, last? Time before? Anyway, on the council, uh, where um, he got... He got super, super salty about losing a hand on that one. Um, that was really, really rough. It, DJ is correct. Um, <laughs> damn it, Crosshair. <laughs> Gunner, I'm so excited to hear that. Folks, I am really excited, actually, because I feel like it's going to be... Speaking of narrative, that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, you know, maybe, maybe they have more of a history than you would think. You never know. Uh, DJ, that passion came from Carmen Sandiego. It is impossible to be... That's the word I'm looking for. It is impossible to be uh, a, what is it when you don't care about something? Apathetic. See, I don't even know what that word is. <laughs> Jinx as a changeling courts here. Fugajutsu, I feel like I caught like just the tail end of it, so I didn't realize it was Jinx. <laughs> oh, let us ask our court seer. Jinx, Jinx, do you see a good outcome? Hmm. Well, I don't know, young Pukajutsu. Have you ever seen one of these? And it's going to be, oh my god. That was truly one of my favorites. Folks, there's so much great content in the channels in and around this community. RPG Clinic, Elizabeth Neal, John Verrill, me, <laughs> The Coolian, uh, uh, Zen Robo, Civil Strife. Have I hit everybody up who normally streams in this general area? Folks, thank you so much for joining me tonight. I had a blast. I really hope to see some folks on uh, A Case of the Mondays, A Case of the Tuesdays, um, <laughs> where Chief Inspector Strikers takes on Carmen San Diego. Uh, and yeah, I really, really hope to see you all around. Ever seen one of these? I am furious about how this scenario went, but it makes for a great story. Rita is going to try to find out more about these witches and maybe try to side with them if she can. All right, I'm calling it a night. Uh, yes, exactly, Gunner. I, you know what, Gunner? I, I made a mistake and I figured it out. Okay, it's, it's very hot here. <laughs> thank you very much, folks. I'm, I, I'm gonna keep saying thank you until, until I can't anymore. Have a wonderful rest of the evening. Keep safe. Keep uh, warm and or cool, depending on where you are. Drink lots of water. Um, and uh, yeah. Don't forget that if something can go wrong, it will go wrong. Honestly, I feel like getting a tattoo of something to represent, of like something to represent that for myself. Uh, fuck hoods. Fuck racists. <laughs> and most importantly, 
F the minus four in the tentacle. Okay, bye!